What's up, jockeys? The Jedi here. And uh, let's get right into it. It's going to be a short one, though, actually. Um, subscribe to my Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This video is going on YouTube. So let's get right into it. Close this out. Um, so, yeah, the Steelers won yesterday. 26 18. Up by 8. Not what I expecting. I was expecting them to at least held the Giants out in the process. But I thought this was going to be a little bit of a tough game, right? Well, Russell Wilson surrendered four sacks. And Daniel Jones surrendered four sacks. So each team surrendered sacks. Fumbles lost for each team. Interceptions thrown by the Giants. None by the Steelers. And the Giants had the ball longer. Which means they could have easily won the game. Or tied it if... Necessary. But also got the player stats. Jones got banquished yesterday by the Steeler defense. He was just hit all over the place and trying to make a comeback win, which did not go out well. As you can see, the recap, the game recap, 16 minutes long. Um, Tracy Jr. was cooking. 20 carries, 145 yards. His average was 7.2 of the night yesterday with a touchdown. Malik Neighbors was cooking too. Darius Slayton was cooking. But Jones was just getting smacked yesterday. Dexter Lawrence, where's that guy? Here he goes. Four tackles, but he was causing pressure. Very, like, nearest pressure. Russell Wilson was good, 20 of 28, a touchdown. Again, took in some sacks, which could be, which, which is going to happen now and then, but the Steelers still did good. Um, Pickens, good. Four receptions, 74 yards. Van Jefferson, 62 yards. Calvin Austin, the third, a touchdown. With well, three receptions, 54 yards. Darnell Washington, and everyone else did good. Warring and Harris did good. Scotty Miller. Bah, I said Scotty Miller. Well, Mirror, actually. Scotty Miller had no catches. He was trying to catch one yesterday. He couldn't. Watt, seven tackles, two sacks. And he forced a fumble recovery and got it. And Hayward, six tackles. He's doing good. He feels healthy this year. I I'm turning this, this light on so you can see. Yeah, okay. Here's my free face. Hi. <laughs> uh, Bishop Jr. I want to say BB Jr. I'm about to say BB Jr. <laughs> so yeah, BB Jr. Five tackles, one interception. Dante Jackson. <laughs> four tackles. This de this defense did good yesterday. Especially on the hits of the of Daniel Jones, they were just pressuring him hard. But yes, um, let's look at the news. Um, the news analytics. And yes, he did. They were trying to convert a two point conversion, and did not succeed. And New York Giants slopped, slopness, dunes. Yep. Flag after flag after flag for the New York Giants. And flags and flags. It was literally the, the, the flags for the New York Giants. So literally at the same time, this was the Giants were battling the referees and the flipping Steelers defense. That was literally it. The flags and the Steeler defense. That was literally it in the process. <laughs> and the Steeler defense won. So, uh, let's look at the Steelers games. Alright, so now they're on a bye week. The bye week starts now. And I will get with the Eagles next after is like this one. So they beat the Raiders, the Jets, and the Giants. So they're on a three win streak now while the Ravens lost. And another late game yesterday as well. 
and this one as well. So three late games that I saw, and I could use to be with two as a Steelers fan because I have watched so many Steelers games this year, and three were late, a couple were not. These three were late, very late, especially that Dallas and Steelers game. And I'm a little tired from yesterday, from watching this game a little bit. So, yeah. I need a little bit of a breather, and so do Steelers fans as well. Um, they'll take on the Commanders. Uh, let's see the channel. They didn't pop the channel yet, but I should be seeing it. I expect I am expected to see it. Now, as you look at all the recent games, Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey got connected. They got connected. Um, where's that game at? Yeah, here we go. They won against the Raiders, the division rival. They're seven and zero, and they connected. Mahomes and Kelsey finally got it together. Because Kelsey was not scoring anything, and the Bills won again as usual. Best New York team in the NFL. Like, the best team in New York, actually, is the Bills, not the Giants and the Jets. Chargers beat the Saints. Saints lost their car. Their car broke down. <laughs> Falcons beat the Buccaneers. And just flew over Florida. Lions scorched the Titans. Titans are not doing anything this year. No Derrick Henry, no nothing. They should have never got rid of him. Uh, this, this was a good win yesterday. Texans and Colts. I didn't see the matchup, but I am going to expect this was good. Well, I didn't see it Sunday, actually, not yesterday. Browns and Ravens. I saw this one. And Browns. For Browns fans that are probably going to be watching this, or if you're a Steelers fan yourselves, or like just at least my, like a fan of me that's doing this type of stuff, to Browns fans... The state, the Browns, blah, the Browns don't have to change their stadium. They really don't have to change their stadium. It's, it's fine. It looked, it looked, it looked kind of classy. Like the stadium actually looks kind of classy. They should just keep it in Cleveland. That's why they're called the Cleveland Browns. But no, they're going to put this stadium inside of, uh, like a suburb town of Ohio, which is like I think some miles from Cleveland. I don't know, but Cleveland, I don't know. The stadium does not need to move. Vikings are about to experience their worst downfall if they don't bounce back after these two losses. Packers beat the Jaguars. Cardinals beat the Dolphins. Patriots beat the Jets unexpectedly. And the Jets, (laughs) ah man, Jets fans have nothing to say. They said they was going to sweep the Patriots, but no, the Patriots... Not going to sweep no Patriots. No one can't sweep the Patriots. Unless you're the Bills or the Dolphins. But, yeah, Jets ain't sweeping the Patriots. <laughs> uh, let's look at this game. Eagles, Bengals. Eagles won their first game in Cincinnati. Jalen Hurts had to switch two shoes and won it. He's 16 of 20. 236 yards with a touchdown. Barkley still cooking again. Hurst got three rushing touchdowns out of 10 carries for 37 yards. Uh, they were for short range yardage. Devontae Smith got active with a touchdown. AJ Brown, five receptions, 84 yards. Huh. Five catches for Brown and six catches for Smith. Huh. Jack Stoll, they still don't have um, Dallas Goddard. Yeah, I think Lane Johnson was shaking up as well. Slay is shaking up, so they're, nah. But they should be fine, though, with Smith and Brown. Their defense is looking pretty sharp, too. I don't think no sacks. Oh, uh, wait, no, they, they, they got a sack right here. Noah Brown-Smith, Jr. I mean, I said Noah Brown. Nolan Smith Jr. Or Nolan. Yeah, Nolan Smith Jr. With the sack. A sack assist. Somebody else had the other half. And that is... 
Milton Williams. Okay, they got the interception and a fumble recovery, but they could not, like, they held down Joe Burrow, and they have scored again on another team. This time this was up by 20. So this Eagles front is back for the most part. And they're going, Jacksonville seems to be fine. Jacksonville seems to be fine. I'm not really worried about Jacksonville. I think the Eagles got this. Eagles got this. Eagles got this. They're fine. Eagles got this. They got this. Wait, I want to look at the Eagles schedule though. Let's look at the division though. Steelers, 6-2, lead the AFC North. Ravens crumbled to the Browns. Thank you, Browns. And the Bengals crumbled to the Eagles. So thank you, these two teams, for doing something well. Well, these three teams, actually. Thank you. And the Chiefs are the remaining champions. And they're winning. Commander, 6-2. That clutcher versus the Bears. That Hell Mary pass was insane. Eagles five two and on the win streak while well, the commanders are only a two win streak. Dallas just lost um Sunday versus flipping uh forty ers which who won. And they're four and four tied with the Cardinals. Oh the Cardinals is in first place. The Cardinals are in first place. So the Cardinals, let me see what the Cardinals record is. Okay, so the Bears are going to be a tough one. Jets should be simple. Seahawks a tough one. Vikings a tough one. Seahawks again a tough one. Patriots, that eh, should be simple, but I doubt it. Um, This should be simple for the Cardinals. And, yeah. So basically, I'm going to say that the Patriots should be simple. Or the Panthers. The Panthers should be simple to beat. And the Cardinals don't, like, at least get some wins. It's bad. Um, Lions, they're 6-1. They're on a 5-win streak. Packers trying to keep in, keep up with them. Minnesota crumbled miserably after a 5-0 start. Falcons are just doing good. They're just doing good. Um, they're 5-3, and three, while the Buccaneers went 4-4. Four and four. Sanctuary is still crumbling, trying to look for answers. And the Panthers suck. What's worse, Titans or Panthers? Let me know down into the description. They should actually have them battle. Panthers and Titans. The battle of sucky teams. Who comes out on top? And the Giants lost. They got the Commanders. And the Eagles have the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cowboys. Let's see who the Cowboys have. I think the Cowboys have the Falcons. No, they got the, yeah, they got the Falcons. Then the Eagles. Um, but yeah, the Eagles got the Commanders, the Rams, Ravens. This is going to be a test right here. Let me zoom in. This is going to be a test right here. This is a test. This is going to be a test right here. The battle, the two teams with two similar cities apart. Baltimore, to be honest, is just like Philly. Yeah, Baltimore is just like Philly. And so that's the Ravens. The Ravens are like the Eagles, kind of, in their own style. Like, I don't know. I just don't know. The Eagles should be, should be, this should be simple for the Eagles. Take down the Panthers. Simple. I mean, simple, simple, simple. Uh, we're not going to talk about this team, right? We're not going to talk about these two right now at the moment. But uh, after week 15, the Eagles got the Commanders. Cowboys and the Giants after week 15, but we're not going to talk about this little matchup right now of week 15, so let's not talk about that. But yeah, the Eagles have pretty much, the only thing I can see that's tough right now is the Commanders and the Ravens. Dallas is being goofy right now. Can still cause problems, but they're being goofy. But as an Eagles fan, a half Eagles fan I should say, I'm not worrying about Dallas. I'm just not worrying about them right now. I mean, I'm slightly worried, but I'm I'm not that worried right now. I'm more more worried about the Commanders and the Ravens. I'm not worrying about the Rams and the Panthers. 
right now in the process. I mean, other than that, I kind of got past the the excitement stuff. I mean, they won three in a row, so this should be this should be simple for them to to take down. If they lose the Jacksonville Jaguars, I'll be pissed. If they lose to Dallas at home, and actually, I hope they sweep Dallas. Dallas is getting swept this year by the Eagles. They're getting swept this year, and they're they're getting swept this year. They're getting swept this year. Now, I don't know about the Commanders, but the Cowboys and the Giants, they're getting swept this year. Believe me. Disbelieve me. They're getting swept this year. They're getting swept this year. Mm, but let's look at the Steelers' schedule again. To So, yeah, they have the Commanders and the Ravens November 17th. I will mark that on calendar. And I'm guaranteed that I will see this game. I will see this game for the most part. I hope they'll put this game in the area. If they don't, we're going to have an issue. <laughs> but I will see this game, though, on Thursday night. I'm just not sure about these two games and this game and this game. I will see this game because this is on a Saturday. And this will be... I will... Might need to figure out how to see this. This is supposed to be on Netflix, but I doubt that we'll have Netflix. I mean, we have... I have Netflix... And, yeah, I have Netflix, but it's, like, I'm not sure, like, do we have it live? Like, do we have, like, like live access of it or something? I'm just not sure. And I'm not sure if I am going to see this game. So, and, of course, I will see this game week 15. But, again, we're not going to talk about that until we get to that. But, yeah, the still is only a bye week. And then I will have my full focus on the Philadelphia Eagles. But now since we got all of this out of the way, let's look at the history between these two teams, Giants and Steelers. Steelers are on a four win streak. Again, the football database you can also look up. You can find um like the live records of these two teams. And like not just these two teams, like any team like the Chiefs, Raven yeah, Ravens, Raiders, Patriots. Whatever team you like in the NFL. But yeah, the football database website is where you can go look at. For the um, stats and stuff like that. And this is their first time going on a fourth win streak. The Steelers. From 2012 to 2024. And this game had to be fun yesterday. Last time they played on Monday night was 2020. Duh. And they lost. 08, the 08 era. Sixty three to seven. This was 1952. This was 1952. I mean, these, these two teams don't play as much. Giants blocked the Steelers 1957 at home. <laughs> but. Had a stretch. Uh, so yeah, of the 2000s, I'm going to say, well, since 2000, the Giants, oh my God, and it's skipping again, but yeah, since 2000, the Giants had lost Oh my god, I am not doing so good right now. Uh, oh well. Uh, I'm going to, I guess, probably just wrap it up here. But yeah, the um, Steelers only bye week. The flipping 
Eagles are playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. I will see that, obviously. And, yeah, I, yeah, so basically I'm just going to probably wrap this up here. I pretty much got some other stuff to take care of, such as me finding a job and dealing with a little issue with some, with another, I don't know. Yeah, I just got some stuff to take care of, but I will get with the Eagles and Jaguars next well, the week the uh, the weekend when it comes, but yeah, as your host, Jedi number one is out.